Hey there, this is Zeke. Today I'm going to be upgrading my Minecraft to version 1.4.4 and I'll be preparing it for some mods as well. I know that 1.4.5 will be out early next week according to the Mojang website, but the process should be pretty much exactly the same. So first thing we need to do as always is locate our Minecraft directory and see colon backslash users username backslash application data backslash dot Minecraft. This is where mine's located and we want to select all of that because there is quite a lot of stuff here that I don't want to lose and back it up Hey, when that's done we grab our zip file or 7-zip in this case and move it to a safe place and now if we do anything wrong we have a backup that we can restore from next thing we need to do is make sure we have a clean install of 1.4.4 or 1.4.5 we do that by deleting everything in the Minecraft directory. Don't worry, we have our saves backed up so we can get them back once we're done. And when we log into Minecraft, it will download the latest version. And there we go, a clean install of Minecraft 1.4.4. So we close that. And next thing we need to do is download Minecraft Forge, which we find at minecraftforge.net. That'll take us to this website where we click on releases. Now, if we're downloading for 1.4.4, you can see that's the latest version here, so we should be fine. If you're modding 1.4.5, make sure it says 1.4.5 here before you download Minecraft Forge. So we go into the top link, the main Forge download, and we scroll down and we find recommended and we want to click on universal I recommend clicking on the AdFly link to support the modders and I've already downloaded this so I don't need to do it again and if for whatever reason you're installing a mod that doesn't work with Forge then Brizugami's mod loader is the other way to go I recommend using Forge it should work with pretty much everything these days and the way to find Brizugami's mod loader is to do a Google search for Minecraft forum space mod loader and it should come up as the top result. Uh, it says 1.4.2 in the Google search, but when you go to the forum thread, it does say 1.4.4. So if you are installing this for 1.4.5, go away scrubber, make sure it says 1.4.5 here, and possibly even in the topic as well. So if it doesn't say 1.4.5, you'll need to wait for it to update. Now if you scroll down a fair way, you find where the mod loader heading is, Again, click on the AdFly download to support the modder. Again, I've already downloaded this, so I don't need to do it. And once we've got both of those files, we go to the bin directory in the .minecraft directory and find our Minecraft jar file. Copy and paste that to make a backup. And then open up the jar file with either 7-zip or WinRAR. And we have here our Minecraft jar file. Find where you downloaded Minecraft Forge or Mod Loader. I'm only going to install Forge. You can install one or the other, but not both. So I'm going to install Forge. We opened that with 7-zip. We press Control A in there to select everything. And drag it over to our jar file. And say yes, we want to copy. And there we go. Now if we run Minecraft now, Chances are it will not work. So you can see we're stuck here on this updating Minecraft screen. It's not going anywhere. And the reason for that is because we did not delete the meta inf directory. If we delete that one, run Minecraft again, you'll see that things happen differently this time. There we go, we have a Forge mod loader window pop up here. It runs through a few things. That will only happen the first time. Next time you load it, it should be much quicker. And over here we have Minecraft 1.4.4 with a bit of extra Forge information. We also have this Mods button, which will tell us which mods we currently have loaded. We have Forge, Forge Mod Loader, and the Minecraft Coder Pack. All right, so Forge has successfully been installed. If you are installing Mod Loader, it's pretty much the same process, except you won't get the Forge Mod Loader pop up ensure that you do delete the meta inf directory as well. And if we go back to our .minecraft directory, we will now have a mods folder. 
and it's currently empty but it is ready to have some mods installed now when you're choosing mods to install always make sure that they are for the version of Minecraft that you have Buildcraft here is for 1.3.2 so that will not work Industrial Craft is also for 1.3.2 that also will not work Red Power for 1.2.5 that's not going to work either but if you go to the Minecraft forums you will see that there are quite a lot of mods that have been updated for 1.4.4 if you are running 1.4.5 then make sure that the mod you are looking at has been updated to 1.4.5 as well and to make sure that Forge is working properly we're going to install a few mods I'm going to try Extra Biomes XL which has been tagged as 1.4.4 we're going to do Raise Minimap again 1.4.4 and a couple of uh, BSPKRs mods we are going to try Armor Status HUD tag for 144 and the Status Effect HUD also 144 these are the mods that I'd like to play with in multiplayer when I'm on the Wild Workbench server so hopefully I can get them running now that we're on 1.4.4 there as you can see I've already downloaded all of these so I'll find where I've downloaded those two there they are now usually when I'm installing mods I'll drag them in one at a time to make sure they all work but I'm pretty sure that if we just drag and drop them all in we won't have a problem there we go, forge mod loader popped up and disappeared and we should see down in this corner now that we have a few extra mods, yep we're up to seven now click on mods, we have coder pack, mod loader and forge but we also have armor status a minimap, a status effect hub and extra biomes Let's just quickly make sure they all worked. We'll make a creative world and see if we can find one of these extra biomes with our minimap. I'm in a cave. Okay, let's get rid of that achievement thing first. Obviously, our minimap has worked, and that looks very different over this way. Let's go see what that is. Yes, look at these trees. These are not vanilla Minecraft trees. Obviously, extra biomes has also worked. Let's just get to the top of one of these. Wow, they go pretty high. Let's use a slowness potion and we'll find ourselves some armor. A helmet will do. So put our helmet on. You see down in the bottom left hand corner we now have a durability on our helmet. So armor status has worked. And in the top left we have our slowness. And there we go, that is how we install mods on Minecraft 1.4.4 and 1.4.5 when it comes out will be extremely similar. You just have to make sure all of the version numbers match. I hope this video helped you and I hope that you enjoy your newly installed or newly updated Minecraft mods.